Assalamu alaikum ninjas, welcome back, welcome back. Uh, so, Snapdragon 652, is it worth buying in 2019? What is happening with this processor? Is it uh, super slow? Is it, I don't know, man, is it good for the price tag that you're giving? You can find this processor in a few different uh, cheap China phones and Nico brands, and right now, even in the Zook brand, you can also find it in the home care. Not Zook, what the heck? It's uh, it's Sharp brand. This is for my testing purposes. I'm having a Sharp Z3, which you can buy also in the Banggood. On the Banggood, you're gonna also have Ninjas, the best kind of. Uh, cheap phones around $100 that you can buy right now in 2019 uh, and you're gonna have in the description all the buying links anyway so let's go firstly what I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you benchmarks uh, the latest updates of the benchmarks on 22 gig bench 4 we're gonna so show you right now uh, multitasking uh, kind of using the smartphone uh, reopening the apps and seeing how is it for the multitasking everyday use and also we're gonna show you the temperatures and after that we're gonna show you the gaming test for the Snapdragon 652 and Adreno 510 to see how Adreno 510 and 10 is performing in 2019 is it good for the gaming uh, so you're gonna find all these informations in the single video regarding the camera regarding the battery regarding the design and everything that just depends of the users uh, of the operative system software and the brand itself ninja so the camera makes no point for me to show you batteries also makes no point the battery as lot as it is overall for all Samsung 652 smartphones is almost exactly the same ninjas almost almost you're not gonna have 50 percent better battery life there because this uh, chip this processor is built on 28 nanometer chip technology, so it's not battery efficient in just it is a powerful processor and I will show you that but it's not battery efficient and also it does heat this processor does heat ninja so just have that in mind anyway so uh, quickly uh, also regarding the uh, this smartphone which I'm having in my hands this is a sharp Z3 and it has a quad HD display just I did scaled right now uh, kind of downscale the resolution to full HD for the gaming uh, purposes Adeno 510 Open GLS 3.2. Very high screen density, Corning Gorilla Glass, very high resolution. Also, just show you in a minute. I mean, again, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video to to check the Snapdragon 652 uh, performance. But this is a very interesting device. I'm telling you, it's a very interesting device. If it's available in Banggood, then get it. You're gonna have the buying links below. Anyway, let's try to reopen these apps. Uh, check here the RAM management. It can handle Ninjas 10, 12, 13 Fs, uh, which is really impressive. Check it out. So this is really good, bro. A bit of stuttering there, uh, reopening some apps, but that's completely normal for a cheap smartphone. There's not a flagship 855 processor. So this is really good, man. I am satisfied by the performance uh, of the Snapdragon 652. And also I proved it with the HomeCare AI Call V8. Uh, which, which you can also check my in depth review and I advise also that smartphone that smartphone it is cheaper than the Zook Z3 maybe it doesn't have the better camera than this one but it's also amazing amazing device anyway let's go now and show you the benchmarks let me just find the, uh, the gallery app so this is the Antutu score for Snapdragon 652 in 2019 of course the, the latest version of the Antutu app uh, GPU score is 20,000 20, Remember, Ninja Snapdragon 855 scores 150,000 on GPU score. That's like, how much is that? That's like seven times more powerful. Oh, oh my God, man. Remember that two and a half years old processor back to the Snapdragon 8. Okay, three years, if we can go like that. Three years, so it's seven times more powerful, man. In just three years. Three years. Give it more three years for the Qualcomm. <laughs> Oh, that would be nuts. Anyway, Geekbench 4. Geekbench 4 here, Ninja. Also amazing, amazing score by the Snapdragon 652. And also we have the GFX benchmark. You can check it out by yourself here. You can just pause this video. Anyway, uh, I think this is it regarding uh, the, the first initial test here of the Snapdragon 652. I don't know what else can I show you instead of the gaming. The gaming is the best thing to check it out. Also, if you want to test, uh, check emulator. I do have on my YouTube channel uh, emulator test on this processor. So check it out. Right now, we're going to just test a few Android games for you and show you the, uh, of course, we'll show you the temperature, temperatures, the thermals. Remember, like I said here, most of the Snapdragon 652 smartphones do uh, heat up and they do also do drain battery quickly when you are playing heavy games if you're gonna uh, watch video youtube videos or maybe use facebook or instagram like that it's not gonna drain your battery that fast don't uh, don't be uh, don't panic don't panic and also the gaming as it is for the pubg and these heavy games are like for a small group of the people majority of uh, android users uh, people like in the city or something like that nobody plays pubg bro mainly they don't play somebody just like i said here uh, enters pubg uh, once a week or so 
Uh, this is uh, this what I'm do right now the test I'm doing it for the heavy gamers not for the regular user the regular user is playing subway surfer or something like that ninjas uh, You probably know that you probably know that not everybody is a, a, a hardcore gamer ninjas a gamer is a gamer remember that gamer is not a person who plays subway surfers man uh, anyway that's just, anyway, so let's begin. Let's begin with the gaming, and I hope you enjoyed in this video. You're gonna enjoy in this video. You're gonna have the buying links below for the probably five, six, seven different uh, Chinese smartphones around one hundred dollars worth buying in 2019. So support my channel, Ninjas. Support it and shop online with my links. Let's begin. Welcome back, Ninjas. Perfectly perfect timing. I just recorded, started recording, and it's fifty percent, sixteen thirty nine. Uh, so this is a battery gaming and battery test of the Sharp Z3 smartphone. And also, this is the Snapdragon 652, like I mentioned here, in 2019. Let's see here how this uh, processor behaves in these heavy games. Heavy, heavy, heavy games. You'll be surprised, Ninjas. I am surprised also by my... Uh, I am surprised. I am completely surprised uh, when you consider that, example, Helio P23 or Helio P22 can't run PUBG with this smoothness, which is really insane. The Helio P23 and P22 are kind of a newer uh, processors in compared to the Snapdragon 652, bro. So Snapdragon 652 is still the beast of the beast right now for the price tag. Uh, remember that Lico smartphones or particularly Lico smartphones won't give you the same performance because EUI, it's a bit not polished as with the other smartphones. You know, I tested home care and this is the Zook. These uh, smartphones or these softwares inside of these smartphones are more optimized than the EUI uh, itself in just. I noticed it. I noticed it. Anyway, check it out, bro. Check the smoothness. This is on the balanced mode, uh, 720p resolution. Okay, Ninjas, I am completely shocked by the smoothness. This uh, Sharp Z3, it even runs better, this uh, PUBG, than the HomeCare AI V Call, which has the same processor and same amount of RAM if you care for the RAM. But RAM doesn't mean anything for the gaming. Anyway, this is nuts, bro. This is on the balanced mode, brother. Not super smooth, but on the balanced mode. Great performance. Check it out. Amazing, bro. Check it out. This is more than playable. In my opinion, this is very playable for such a cheap phone. With these graphic, you know, graphic details. You could put even the resolution lower, lower than 720p uh, via GFX tool. So good. Crazy man, crazy speed. Great job, Snapdragon 652. Okay, uh, I even forgot to maybe just slightly uh, compliment this Sharp Z3 smartphone. It also has a really strong and amazing speakers on the bottom. Love it, bro. Maybe the smartphone was expensive on pre uh, on the release date, but right now, after how many months and months and months, for one hundred twenty dollars, this is really amazing, bro. Great performance, great performance. Anyway, let's go next. There we go. Asphalt nine. Default setup. <laughs> impressive bro this is honestly impressive running really good Oh, he got it there, bro. Bloody him. Mm. 
move. Nice. That's how you do it. <laughs> Sucker. Oh, he got me there, bro. First place, bro. Nice. Let's check the temperatures here. Okay, bro. Well, that's amazing, bro. That's amazing. Okay, bullet force on Snapdragon 652 medium settings. Uh, did I kill him one, man? I don't kill. Did I kill him? I thought I killed him. Oh, damn. Oh, sniper. Damn it, where they are there? How the heck are they there, bro? Where did he disappear, bro? Ay, come on now. Middle of that. Okay, let's go next. Oh, darn. They are there. We're gonna do, we're gonna go from here. Nice, running really good, bro. Bullet force. <laughs> cool, bro. Come on, bro. Why you can't jump? Ah, oh, there you go. Okay, let's go to the next game. Heads will roll. Can you just Shadow Gun Legends? I'll just show you right now the settings. Okay. <laughs> settings. Auto FPS limit 60 FPS, bro. Heavy, heavy game. This is a very heavy game.
Okay, Shadow Gun Legends on low settings, 160 FPS. Running really good, bro, in the Snapdragon 652. Honestly, running really good. Let me check the time. The time is two minutes more, two minutes more to play it, and it's gonna be exactly half hour for the gaming purposes. Oh, wait a minute, why I'm going there, bro? I go back. Kaboom! Just test the temperatures. I don't know, I'm impressed that it's, it's not overheating this much. Let me just check, go down. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, oh. So the processor is somewhere there, man, on the bottom, not on the top. Interesting, interesting, bro, here. So uh, it's running 35, 36, 37. Go to house, Cam! Anyway, this is it, ninjas. It's exactly probably half hour. Yeah, it is half hour exactly. So let's check here the thermals also. Check the thermals. And it's 28%, ninjas. It's 28%. It took 28%. So let's see here 28 to 22%, ninjas. It took 22% for half hour. So basically, it will take you, uh, for one hour, it will take you 45, 40, let's say 44% for one hour. You're going to get Ninjas 44% to Ninjas two and a half hours, around two and a half hours gaming on this device here with these heavy games. I don't know how, how much it's going to be with the regular games, but with the heavy games like these ones, uh, which also slightly uh, heat up the smartphone. But really impressive, this smartphone doesn't overheat, bro. This smartphone doesn't overheat the Zoog Z3, bro. Uh, the the sharp Z3. Sorry for that one. It doesn't overheat, bro. That's impressive. Even if it overheats, it's not like 45. It's probably just around 40, maybe with the PUBG, with the more kind of more graphical uh, details. But again, uh, you're gonna not gonna play it on the highest graphics because it's gonna be laggy. This is not a flagship, so just have that in mind. So it's a good thing now. It's a good thing. Two and a half hours screen on time for the gaming. This is it. What do you get? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Wish you all the best. Masalama. Have you ever wondered where to buy smartphones from? Chicka chicka ching 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 China! That is the Gearbest.com and Banggood.com, the most reliable two sites for online buying. Use my promo links below in the description to purchase anything ninjas. That's the best way to support me. Let's go!